Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and today I want to talk about the latest character I'm building, which is a Essence Drain Low Life Scion with the Coruscating Elixir instead of the Shavs, as per the last build as well, and uh, using a Skin of the Loyal strictly because I'm trying to go for the absolute max DPS of an Essence Drain that I've uh, ever had before. So that means I have plus one gems on my chest while still being low life, and um, you know, using Empowers and level 21 Essence Drains and just going for the biggest dot DPS I've ever had and potentially the best single target I've ever had. So, as the title of the video implies, this is a Scion and I wanted to do a Scion because I haven't done one in a long time since, yeah, 10 months ago when um, I did my last Essence Drain Scion. And unfortunately, it's still basically the only reason to play Scion as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe also Caustic Arrow or a few other niche bullshit uses. But Scion is still really struggling and it's still pretty damn good for Essence Drain. However, because... Um, in general, I suppose, it's because Ascendancies don't do all that much for Essence Drain. So you go for a bit of utility, and uh, Scion has a bit of that, and it also has the best part of the Occultist as far as damage is concerned, which is the minus Chaos Res uh, to nearby monsters. So that is still more or less all you're really building towards, uh, similarly with the Occultist. There is, of course, the Trickster option, but I really don't particularly like that one because, uh, well, Frenzy Charges don't do all that much for you when it really matters on your single target and otherwise it's just you know kind of tanky and as you know it's not really what I'm looking for in a build so you can see Essence Drain is still pretty damn good these days uh, still does quite a lot of damage this is by far the most damage my Essence Drain has ever done but the problem is the AoE nerf really did hit Contagion kind of hard you can see that Contagion AoE isn't incredible right now and I've already got a few of the AoE nodes and as well as that uh, the Blasphemy AoE got hit pretty damn hard so it's a lot harder to survive and a lot harder to curse things with my current AoE, so I may have to invest heavily into AoE than I currently have, just to play the build the same as I used to. So that's about all I'll show for gameplay action for now. Uh, we haven't done too much except for, you know, map up to about level 85 at this point, at which case my DPS has been really good. Uh, I've died plenty of times thanks to Coruscating Elixir being shit, but uh, that is just the reality of the situation using a Coruscating Elixir, especially as non-Pathfinder. Uh, it's up quite a lot of the time, almost all of the time, but there will be a few little times in between packs of monsters and all that where uh, it goes down and you might just not notice or you might not notice um, before entering a certain pack which has chaos damage. So uh, yeah, it's definitely a use at your own risk and discretion. It will get you killed every now and again, but it hasn't got me killed that many times that I... Uh, will stop using it uh, for the damage gain. By all means, low life with shavs is a lot more efficient, but uh, this is just what I'm gonna do and, you know, let me do it. So <laughs> the reason we're doing that is so I can still use the skin of the lawyer for the plus one gems so that my essence drain can go from 21 to 22 and my empower can go from four to five, thus granting me a level 26 essence drain. And in total, that means I have currently a shitload of DPS. We are sitting at 72,000 without slow proj, with slow proj in, um, sitting at 77.9 thousand, and that's still going to go up. So I should hit at least 80k, and uh, you know, buffed up with our flask, you know, we're definitely hitting 80k. So that's like almost twice as much as I've ever had on an Essence Strain character, and uh, it's just really just you know, to see how the single target holds up against maybe some other Chaos builds and just try something a little different for an Essence Drain character compared to my last ones. Now, something I wanted to talk about is the Decay weapons versus something else. So currently the best possible DPS weapon for me is a Consuming Dark because Poison is absolutely huge for the build uh, single target in the long run. So for single target, when you get the opportunity to stand still and cast several times, then Poison and Consuming Dark is definitely the best DPS. What happens is you have an initial hit with your Essence Drain, this uh, 13,000 to 19,000 in the tooltip, and that's what your Poison is based off of, not the damage over time. So you Poison with that, the more times you attack, the more times you poison, and the more it stacks. So that is definitely the best uh, single 
DPS weapon we can use. But then we have a few options in our offhand. Now you can, of course, run a shield and that puts me up to almost 10,000 energy shield, even without a crystal belt yet, because I haven't put one on, and without a good amulet, because I haven't put one on yet. So don't worry too much about the ES numbers. Um, so that's a lot more defensive and feels pretty good. But the biggest single DPS gain for us is a Breath of the Council because it gives us a lot of chaos damage and increases the skill effect duration of poison. So long term, if you stand still and are able to stack your poisons, this is going to give you the most damage. However, uh, the decay weapon that's pretty popular right now from Delirium gives you 750 damage per second for 10 seconds. Uh, does scale with Essence Drain and all the gems attached to it, your Pierce, your Controlled Destruction, uh, your Void Manipulation, you know, that all still scales the Decay and it makes it pretty damn good. So in the short term, if you apply just one stack to a monster and then move on, um, the Decay weapon's actually better than the Breath of the Council by a pretty decent margin. But in the long term, if you do manage to attack several times, then Breath of the Council outweighs this quite heavily. And I have an example of that right here with Path of Building, as I just um, played around with it. So currently with the Decay weapon here and our Consuming Dark, we have our Dot, which is our Essence Rain, 120,000 DPS. Our Poison DPS is 134,000. And if you stack it up continuously, you get 600,000 DPS in total before the Poison then runs out and you have a chance to reapply it. The Decay DPS is a measly 57,000, which is, you know, a pretty decent chunk of the Essence Drain DPS. It's a straight up increase of something like, you know, 30% or whatever. So it's very worth using if there are no alternatives. But when we put on our Breath of the Council, our overall DPS goes up by 280,000, but that's only in the circumstance that we get to stack poison a lot because the duration is now increased. As you can see, the dot DPS of our Essence Drain barely changes. goes from 120 to 125,000. So it doesn't really change much at all, and we lose the Decay DPS, which is a huge extra portion um, on top of the dot DPS and on top of the poison DPS that wouldn't get scaled as much without the additional duration of the poison that we currently have from Breath of the Council. So in the long term, Breath of the Council is the man for a lot of the boss fights, but all in all, as you can see, I'm definitely going to be rotating between all three of these. So the shield, pretty much the best thing you can use for general mapping because you definitely don't need this much DPS. Um, the decay weapon certainly can be used for general mapping as well because it ends up increasing your clear speed, but also for poison immune targets like Hydra and Chimera. And then Breath of the Council for your really heavy single target like a Minotaur, um, a Phoenix, or a Shaper himself. But that's basically all there is to this Essence Drain character. It's just another Essence Drain character. I thought it was about time I tried one since I didn't get to experience it throughout Breach at all, and apparently it's pretty good for that. And um, it's always been fun for me. So I enjoy Essence Drain, and I kind of wanted to play a Scion. She looks pretty good in the MTX, so why not give her a chance to flaunt some? And uh, it's basically the only reason to play one. I will just go over what Scion is right now for those of you that haven't ever seen one, because that might be a lot of you, since Scion is so shit. It is sort of a mishmash of all of the um, other ascendancies. So every single class is represented, and then you get to pick one of their ascendancies in a really watered down form, and then another one of their ascendancies from a different class. And ultimately, with the Uber Lab, you can also then start from another class's pathway, and in which case I've chosen to start at Ranger, um, which isn't very significant at all. It just means you save a couple of points or maybe one point in total because the low life tree doesn't really benefit too much from this. But what we've chosen is a cultist for the energy shield, the regen and the minus chaos resist, as well as dead eye to have a second projectile and have additional piercing. And that means we have 80% pierce and two projectiles, which makes hitting a lot nicer. For those of you that haven't experienced Scion before, it's pretty damn similar to Occultist, but um, just has a few little other perks. Occultist, of course, a lot tankier and also has the explosions, which can be good or bad, depending on the situation you're currently in. 
That's about it, though, I wanted to mention for this character. I'll uh, hopefully have some updates for this one in the future about just some, you know, sweet single target that we come across. Uh, it is pretty tough to play with a Coruscating Elixir, so be warned if you want to try doing that. And Essence Drain with the Blasphemy changes and or AoE changes feels worse than it ever has for certain, but it's still very much adequate, and I might just play around with grabbing something like a Hexmaster, uh, you know, just some more AoE, that sort of stuff. For now, this was Essence Drain, guys. Uh, enjoy it while it lasts, because it might not be that good next time we have our uh, double-dipping patch into effect. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.